Um, this time, uh, with everything a little bit more updated, um, we're using uh, FGLRX, the latest version in the trusty repos, um, which is going to be version 15.20.1013. Uh, there's also 104.6, which is going to be uh, the one from Andy's website, uh, also called 15.7. Um, a lot of people reported better stability out of the version in the trusty repo, so that's what we're actually running. Uh, Interstellar Marines is a Unity 3D game uh, recently ported up to Unity 5. We're running update 21. Uh, our settings for shadow quality are ultra high. Uh, in a second here, V-Sync will be off and vignetting and anti-aliasing on. Uh, and we're going to see what kind of frames per second we can get out of the game uh, while capturing at 60 frames per second, downscaled to 1280 by 720. So we can expect uh, frame drops or a, a frame rate drop of about somewhere from 7 to 15 frames per second. Uh, I have a really, really good um, transcoding. Uh, setup going on so it shouldn't really cut into it too bad but we'll see what we have going on uh, we're in windowed mode uh, because it you're unable to capture at, at this point unable to capture uh, full screen games with cast awesome uh, and Marco there is some sort of uh, an overlay issue where it won't allow you to capture the entire screen but anyways let's see what we can do we're in the training session so we'll do that and then we'll jump into a mission So yeah, the game seems to run a lot better on the Unity 5 engine than it did in the past. Um, we're seeing consistent frame rates of above 30 frames per second. Uh, and this is even on the highest shadow quality settings. Oh, and actually, I forgot to turn V-Sync off here. Let me do that. Turning V-Sync off should give us a little bit more uh, frames to work with. real quick. Right, it looks like we're getting a uh, solid 30 frames per second. We get some dips in larger areas with more lighting effects. Uh, but still should be uh, a pretty smooth experience. So let's go ahead and jump out of here. And we'll get back into the game and we'll actually play a mission. Or we'll start a mission at least. A single player, and we will do the uh, Nurgen incident. Give this a second to load up, and we'll get cracking. Alright, let's 
make sure everything's set right. We will show FPS. And let me make sure there's nothing else on that's going to inhibit this. Let's turn that all the way off. Station. Do my power outage and only enable live support functioning. Once we have power, we can access the research deck. Move out. Alright, so again, the FPS are going to be cut by the fact that we're streaming right now. Um, so we still should have usable FPS, even even in Unity 3D games. Um, you'll usually be able to get above 25 frames per second. It's a little choppy. Alright, so we have to go down into here. So I have to turn on these power grids. we we'll see if we can get here before the robots really uh, get a, a location on us. And they're already closing in. Alright, it's probably going to be a robot waiting for us. Right in here. No, I guess not. There's a good RNG in this game, so. Somewhere around here. No, alright, we're good. We have to get these power grids on so we can figure out what happened in here. Still, the frames are super, super low. Um. I don't think there's anything I can do to really improve it. Even turning down the uh, shadow quality doesn't really help too much. Um, in fact, when you turn it down too far, it, it actually impedes the, the game's ability to render frames. So you don't want to turn it down too much. We're going to try and get out of here as quickly as possible. Because there's a lot of Neurogen robots in here. We just want to kill them and get moving. Now, like I said before, if I was not streaming right now, we'd actually be getting a lot more frames. We're, we're really cutting into uh, just e even a powerful gaming rig's ability to render this game uh, can be severely hampered by streaming. Um, Let's just keep moving along here. Someone's stealing fucking Percocets, man. Someone's getting high on the drugs. Alright, so we gotta get to the control deck. Which is over here. Pick up another one of these key cards. Listen to these people complain about their drugs going missing. Oh, jeez. Almost died. It's no good. Let's see where we're at in stream time. Oh, nine minutes. All right. Jesus. All right. Uh, well, that should be enough to kind of get a good comparison of the frame rates. Um, we can actually do something real quick. I'm going to crank everything all the way down and turn everything off. Apply, exit. Alright, there we go. And then turn everything all the way down as, as the lowest graphical settings you can possibly have. And we'll just do another minute uh, here. It actually seems like things got worse. And, and they did. That's what happens when you change the shadow quality. There's some interesting kind of quirks about this game. 
if you turn the settings down, uh, it will actually <laughs> it will take away some of your frames, which is kind of annoying. So you can see by actually increasing some of the settings, I've increased my frame rate. We gotta move on. So, where we're at right now is update 21. We're into the Unity 5 engine. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the catalyst settings. This is on Linux Mint 17.2, kernel 3, 1638. Um, and the FGLRX version is 15.20.1013. Uh, this is the mainline trusty. Um, stable version of FGLRX. There's actually a newer release which is 1046 uh, and that's available on the AMD website. Uh, some people have reported uh, an increase in frames per second on certain games and some people have reported that the uh, 151013 version, 1520113 uh, FGLRX is actually better. So uh, if you have information regarding testing with these on Unity with the different FGLRX versions on Unity games, make sure you post in the comment section. Uh, you can also find this stream on my Twitch channel, and if you head to Reddit, you can go to the Linux Gaming subreddit, and you can post your information there.